Hello there, and welcome to today's Daily Dominion, which is, I believe, all sets, but we have a few empires. Got a mix of everything. Um, okay. There's draw and trashing. Not much in the way of attacks, but we got alt VP. There shouldn't be... Ports and nobles might run. Um, I mean, there are there are pile out possibilities here, but not a huge deal necessarily. Um, delay in March can help a little. Well, yeah, sanctuary is going to have a lot of buys, so we can make good use of delay here. And then March, you know, it's going to be more situational. But uh, as far as the opening, I'm probably going to go Fortune Teller Silver. I mean, you can just do Silver Silver. You really need to hit 5 and 6 here. Um, Fortune Teller has the nice advantage that depending on what you draw, you may be interested in delaying it. Okay, we just miss here. Um, so my fortune teller misses. What's the AI have so far? Silver's and no charm. Okay. I'm tempted to just keep on buying the ports, even though um hopefully we hit six here, but five will be okay. So we're gonna buy a sanctuary. Maybe we should have taken another silver. We do need to hit six, and it is a little bit hard to do that. Um, we may want to... Okay, this is nice. Okay, here, this is where the sanctuary helps a lot. So we're not going to play the port. Um, we're just going to delay it to get a little extra draw next turn. And then... I don't think I really want a third silver, so I think I'm just going to buy a village. It could be a goat herd, I guess. They do have altar. Um, but okay, this is a full just shuffle on me there because I don't even have... I don't have... I didn't have any green cards in the, in the deck. They were in my hand. Um... Hopefully we can find, can we miss on the sanctuary? Um, this should probably be nobles. I think we're doing okay here. The AI also kind of has a deck going. Um, so fortunately, I guess for me, I don't really, I'm not still not super afraid of whatever they're going to do. This is another spot where I think we could consider doing but I'm going to go for the six, or if we had drawn the altar, the two fives. Uh, we do need the nobles. At some point, we can get a royal blacksmith as well. Yes, fortune teller top decks nobles for you, which is maybe I shouldn't have gotten one. I was kind of thinking more in like farming village directions where there's what am I trying to say where there's uh they're getting thin get a charm. I thought I had a village left. Well, I'm going to just delay the nobles here. There's not really any point to buying anything. I mean, the AI has some stuff for sure. I just don't know what they're going to... Oh, they're cheating too. 
well, okay, they could have done this legally. This is a cheating. The ch I, I did forget about the charm bug, which may matter here. Um, unfortunately, there is a bug <clears throat> with how charm works. Um... Are we I don't know that I even want to play the fortune teller though. I don't know, they don't have a lot of ports, so maybe it doesn't matter. Um okay. Trying to think, I mean, it's not crazy to want. We kind of want. We'll do it like this. We'll get two fives and a nobles. We're not too far from where. Royal Blacksmith can make some sense. Holy cow. What did they delay? I mean, this is... There's some real threat here. Um, for sure. Particularly if we don't draw some more of this. Okay. Um. have to be careful I don't think we can afford to play I mean it may be bad anyway they're going to delay a groundskeeper but I can't play the fortune well okay now they could top deck province I guess so um I guess we could delay both of these. I'm only going to make one. We'll just delay both of them and, and hopefully do something the next turn. So I think I want... This is a little scary, but I don't think they can do six gains. Um, we'll delay both of these. I thought they had delayed a groundskeeper. Oh, they delayed a fortune teller. Well, that's considerably less scary. Um, okay, this should be all right then. Maybe it would have been nice to buy another sanctuary. I gotta think pile. Probably not.
Got to think, got to think a little bit. Um... Well, we'll probably play at least one of these. We don't... There's not a whole lot of incentive to score prior to the end. Um, How much money do we have to... Six, twelve, thirteen. We could have as much as fifteen. We get the four is nine and five. That's an uh, okay. So if we get a charm. We'd have four charm powers. Eh, not quite there. Um, we could take some points, I guess, to make that maybe a little easier. Um, we need to get probably like one more charm. We, we what we would like to be able to do I don't want to go too far cuz I'm a little bit afraid of what the AI might do. I guess it's not that terribly scary but I don't I think I want to leave at least 5 fives left. Um not go down to 4. 4 seems a little risky. But we can go ahead and get a charm here. Hmm. We could have gotten like a duchy, but I don't know how to do this in the order that I want because of how the charm the charm stuff is broken. Um cuz you can like you can like go back and forth like this which is really not how it's supposed to work. <laughs> um We're just going to do all delays rather than well they put together a turn <clears throat> hopefully not good enough yeah this is fine oh so then we'll try and get the last charms and then just empty the charms in the or the groundskeepers and the duchies. And we don't have to save any. Anything now. Oh. I guess we can delay or alter a port. Another charm. Just in case I've miscounted this, I'm not going to play the those two, and I can delay them if I need to. Um, but we should be able to go... Charm, T Groundskeepers, and Duchies. Well, I guess I don't know if it'll work with the way this the charm bug works it should be okay 
you need to buy a groundskeeper. Maybe we can undo it. I don't know. Um, you buy a groundskeeper, get a charm, go back to groundskeeper, get a duchy. Go back to groundskeeper, go back to duchy. <clears throat> okay. This charm is actually probably, the bug charm is probably more powerful than normal charm, though there are times where it's worse. But I think probably on average it's a little better. Maybe not. I'm trying to think where, where the splits matter. I mean, if you want to gain like two of two things, that's where it's good. Or like two and three, that's where it's good. Uh, which is not uncommon, right? If you like have a, I don't know, village in a terminal kind of situation. Um, but normally you should only be able to do like one and three or one and four. Uh, it's a little worse. Well, then when you want to do one and four, it's a little worse because you can't do that. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, another groundskeeper board. We're a little slow to start. I think if I were to play it again, I would be, I would have taken the second silver earlier, um, and maybe even the third silver, to be honest. This, like, the fives are so much better than the threes and the fours here. Um... I might just skip fortune teller. It's not clear. I mean, the attack at the start does a little bit. Once they start buying nobles, it's probably net positive. Um, although I'm not really sure for their deck because they didn't have a village, really. If you have a village, then it's like clearly good for them. Uh, they just draw the nobles and then, you know. But the I'm not convinced it's like great, great, or that it wasn't doing some attack against them. But anyway, the... Uh, yeah, I think I think getting the altar sooner and the noble sooner should be more of a priority. So I would probably take a third, second or third, whatever I didn't do sooner, rather than the two sets of ports, which were doing, of course, nothing at that point in time. Um, otherwise, we were a little unfortunate to have our fortune teller miss the shuffle. I, I I'm gonna say, I'm gonna come back and say that I think fortune teller is worth opening, just for the delay tricks to get to an altar i think that in and of itself is like valuable enough to go for fortune teller um and maybe even so my miss the shuffle which obviously slows that down a bit um what did i get when i finally played the fortune teller i did buy sanctuary with okay i was gonna say maybe even here you delay it to try and get altar but i think it's fine to go ahead and buy a sanctuary all right, so that was this kingdom. They had, did some drawing and stuff, but doesn't really... I mean, they always probably had, right? So, like, if they know how to build from the point where they had the expensive cards first, they should win this, like, I don't know, 90% of the time or something from the deck position after, like, I don't know. They get... They open... Silver, silver, which seems fine. They buy a charm, which is probably not right, but it's still okay-ish they get the altar turn five and probably from this point the ai should i guess it's a little hard with to save the charm but it's still okay um i should probably win from here extremely often it also didn't look very good for march stuff there may have been altar points i kind of forgot about march there may have been points where there was an altar in the discard that i could make use of and i just forgot that wouldn't surprise me at all um, so I was drawing deck quite a bit once I did have altars, so maybe that's not true. Anyway, I thought it was a n nice kingdom. Hope you enjoyed watching it, and I will see you all tomorrow.